I would like to share with you the um, um, presentation that we prepared for you for tonight, which will give a little bit of um, context to our meeting, the project, and um, what happened in the project so far. I will just ask if the uh, presentation is visible. Just yeah. to oh, lovely. Yeah, so as I said, my name is Katarzyna and I'm representing Kobiety, uh, which is an intercultural, intergenerational and international association from Łódź, Poland. And uh, in our project, Soil Soul Society, Holistic Approaches for Youth Development, um, we were having this long-term cooperation for over two years together with three um, organizations, European organizations. So our partners were Dreams for Life, represented here by Bogdan. Um, the organization is coming from Romania and Dreams for Life is the leader of our uh, cooperation of Soil Soul Society. Society project. Uh, Kobiety, which uh, me, Anna, Andrea, uh, and more people in our team are representing, are coming from Poland and are the Polish partner in the project. And uh, Scholte Cree uh, is our Irish uh, partner in this project. Uh, so what happened so far is that in 2023, um, when we started officially the activities of the project, we were focusing on organizing three international training courses. Uh, these were dedicated to youth workers and each partner, a project partner contributed with their experience and expertise in each of the topics of the project. So what we had, um, uh, so our expert in the topic of soil uh, was Scholte Cree, our Irish partner. And in April 2023, we had a wonderful training course around the topic of soil. Uh, in September 2023, we had a training course in Poland, focusing on society. And in October 2023, in Romania, uh, we were having a training course on the topic of soul. Um, and then, so, so in the first uh, year of our project, we focused on training international training courses for youth workers. And then uh, in the next year, in the year 2024, we were focusing more on um, examples of best practices, uh, inspiring organizations that we are cooperating with locally, or activists, or um, initiatives and projects that are um, active in our uh, countries and in our regions, in our um, surrounding. Um, and th this was organized in the same way. So in Ireland, we had the exchange of best practices and study visit on the topic of soil, then in Poland on the topic of society, and in Romania on the topic of soil. During this time, uh, and as a um, the grand finale of our project, uh, we were also preparing outputs, educational materials that we are now sharing and promoting with youth workers uh, who, who will be spreading them among young people and working with them among young people in our regions. But they are also available and accessible for you. Uh, and this meeting will also be the opportunity to share them with you so that you can get inspired and use them in your work, uh, but also pres personal life for your personal development. So the materials and the outputs um, were uh, inter alia toolkits, uh, videos and audio recordings, educational cards, workshop scenarios and inspiring change maker stories. Some of which Bogdan already shared with the members of our previous meeting, which was focusing on soul and some of which we will share also after this meeting uh, and the next meeting in uh, next uh, week. So just to give you a little bit um, of vibe of what happened uh, in uh, along those two years. So as I was mentioning before, in 2023, we were focusing on training courses for youth workers. And uh, here is a picture from a Polish training course. But we started, everything started in Ireland during our uh, soil course where we were, when we were doing, making compost and getting inspired uh, by um, organic farms. Uh, we were also planting seeds. So um, we were learning a lot um, on the topic of uh, soil on this training course. Then 
uh, we, we uh, in Poland we organized a training course on society when we where we were exploring um, change maker skills and how we can become change makers as youth workers and also how we can uh, afterwards share this knowledge uh, and experience with young people. And uh, last but not least, there was a training course on the topic of uh, soul uh, in Romania, exploring more the um, depth of our um, our uh, soul. And then this year we were focusing on study visits and exchange of best practices. And again, we started in Ireland, where we were again uh, um, meeting um, change makers and uh, uh, people active in um, natural um, farming, but also uh, in uh, education around the topic of soil. We also um, uh, visited a bug, so local activists uh, connected with nature. Uh, in Łódź, in Poland, we were exploring a little bit more the cities and uh, change makers around here. We were having uh, handcraft workshops with one of, the, one of the activists of our local partner organization. Uh, we were having uh, inspirational meetings with, uh, with uh, change makers here locally. And last but not least, uh, best practices from Romania and uh, people active in the region of uh, Cluj-Napoca. So just to give you this uh, context, uh, we presented this short presentation for you so that you can catch up what happened in this uh, very intense two years. And uh, thank you very much for watching and I hope that you will enjoy our change making workshop. And um, yeah, now I would like to invite you for a short uh, grounding. Anya, do you want to, yeah? Well, I, um, yeah, I just before we start the workshop, I wanted to bring also this methodology of change making. We, mm. uh, we actually also have, so today workshop, we will focus on society. And, uh, and we have, uh, and in society, we we'll focus mostly on the topic of change making. So we will in a second start the workshop more interactive one when you will have a chance to explore our outputs, get to know each other, but also reflect a little bit on the topic of change making. And the approach, uh, so, so we somehow got interested in it uh, after traveling around the world and collecting stories of change makers. Some of them we'll share with you. And we divided our method uh, methodology into two parts. So we do believe that before you actually change the world, it's worth to start from yourself, to create your own story, discover your own values, dreams, passions, and talents. So create your stories, the first part. And then once you are aware, a little bit more aware of your own uh, resources, we actually jump to the part of changing the world. And that would be also how our workshop would be divided. So we will start a little bit more from creating your story from yourself, and we will slowly go into the part of changing the world. Yes, thank you very much. Um, yes, so let the journey begin. And I would like to invite you for a short grounding uh, for which either you can close your eyes if you feel like it or gaze in one place of the space around you to um, focus a little bit and to arrive to this time and space. So if you feel comfortable, I invite you to close your eyes or gaze down in one place and take a few deep breaths in and out. Arriving to this space. And with every breath in, to collect energy and awareness, getting deeper into this experience, and with every breath out, to release the tension maybe that you collected throughout the day. Breathing in to feel here and now, feel the space that you are surrounded by, and breathing out getting rid of all the tension and maybe emotions or experiences from the day. 
And again, breathing in and out. So arrive to the space, to our workshop. Although we are connecting online, you may also feel the presence of other souls surrounding us here in this online space, other people connecting through modern technology to be together, to get inspired, to create something beautiful together. And few last breaths in and out. Whenever you're ready, you may open your eyes, see some of the faces that are showing or the names of people that are here. And with this joy, I officially open uh, the um, first output that we would like to present to you now. So um, let me just deal with technicalities and I'm sharing it now so you should see my um, my desktop I will just need a confirmation if you can see it okay lovely yeah so um, in the folder where we collected intellectual outputs uh, from our site uh, you will see up here the folder which is called seven audio recordings and uh, when you enter it, you will see that uh, there is a list of all recordings and here you will find recordings of uh, similar activities to the one that I presented to you right now. So some basic grounding, which you can use either for your, for your own benefit or for the benefit of groups of people you're working with, young people uh, or other groups that you are working with. There is also uh, an example of a body scan. Uh, but there are also some um, audio recordings, uh, so, so they will be guiding you through this process. Um, you will also hear uh, Anna's beautiful voice. <laughs> Uh, but there are also some uh, guidance through the activities that we were implementing during uh, our training courses or study visits, um, such as Map of Dreams or Problem Tree. Um, you will see the document with the list of recordings uh, at the beginning and then whenever you click um, to the audio recording, you can uh, explore what we prepared for you here and feel um, invited to use it either with groups or for your individual work. Some of these exercises will be also repeating afterwards in our other outputs. So um, yeah, you can use this double um, double um, modality, let's say. So to read about something, but also to listen to the, uh, to the instruction. And with this, I would like to pass the word to Andrea. Thank you. So, and the audio recording is the first output the first uh, uh, result of uh, this two-year work um, that we had together with the other partner. And uh, the second one that we want to um, propose and want to share with you is uh, the card that we created. We love cards, uh, you know, like cards that like this piece of paper that you can pick from the stack and uh, make you think, you know, come with some interesting question, come with some interesting thought, uh, you know, allow you to, to think or to stay a little bit with, the, with your emotion, steer something in you. We love to use them. So uh, we have several, like we, we have like uh, the love cards, we have uh, uh, many different stacks. So uh, because we love them, we decided to create our own based on the concept that was that were uh, uh, described before. So like uh, change your story, uh, create your story and change the world yeah so uh it's gonna be a, uh, it is a stack with like uh, 58 questions and uh, you will see some now actually uh we want 
uh, to use them for the next uh, for the first exercise. So, uh, in order to get to know each other and uh, um, yeah, and to break a little bit the ice, start to communicate with each other, we're thinking to have a couple of rounds of uh, of questions. So, Anna will uh, uh, will uh, uh, share with you one part of the stack. The part which is uh, uh, focused on uh, create your story, and we selected some of the of the cards that we want to you you to pick. How does it work? It works that like you will choose now two numbers, and like uh, these two numbers are related to the cards. That uh, that you will the, the the question that you will choose, and um, we will divide you in a, a group of uh, two or three people. And the idea is that you will have about ten minutes that will give you um, about one and a half two minutes per, per each question to share with each other uh, what you think, what are your thoughts, what are your uh, uh, Ideas. What are you, what is your answer to the question that it posed? So again, you have to choose two numbers between numbers uh, between one to nineteen. Yes, between uh, one and nineteen, and you will have two rounds. So for each round, you will use one of your cards, and the other person. Or the other people which are in your group will have also uh, their own questions. So you will have three questions in total, and you will have to answer them. And you can go as deep as you wish, depending on you, as deep as you feel comfortable. Okay. So open uh, the link that you find in the um, in the comments. Let us know if it, if it works as well. Let well, <laughs> it, if it doesn't work, let us know definitely and choose two cards, not like choose two number and then go to the numbers which are relative to those cards. Okay, super. Thank you, Asia. And Anna, you can now read the groups. Yeah, and like you will be. Uh, you will have to click in uh, go to the room and uh, meet some of the people that are now in the in the uh, worship and have 10 funny minutes discussing with each other is the instruction clear do you have any doubts about what we do okay so i open the rooms and we have 10 minutes to discuss one question per person from the cards so enjoy A bit flexible with each other, so now we are coming back to record. But like in a in a, a sec, I will send you back to, in the in the rooms, but with you people. So we have, you will have a, a chance for a second round. So the record will stop again, um, but this time it's going to be a little bit shorter because you already know the know the drill. You know how it's going to be. Uh, you just have to go to your second question and uh, again share with uh, uh, a new a small group of people or uh, another person your second question. I hope it was inspiring the first one and I guess the second one is going to be more, even more exciting. And that's the last chance, at least with this part of cards, as we have another part as well. So enjoy it. It till the fullest, and we see in eight minutes. Lovely to see you back. And we are curious, how was this experience for you? So we invite you to share in the chat, how was this experience for you? So that we can, as a group, read on the chat some of your experiences. How was it?
We're curious to know. <laughs> wow, great. Insightful, energizing, inspiring. Mm -hmm. Interesting people. Mm -hmm. Some questioning being more inspiring, some than others. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Thank you. Uh, feel free to still share and read the comments. Um, yeah, so so the cards, Changemaker cards, uh, will be available for you. Uh, we will share them with you. Again, feel free to, to use them in your personal work and also work with groups, with uh, youth or other youth workers. Um, we're happy to, to hear that you found um, the questions inspiring. And uh, I would like to present to you another um, output which we uh, prepared during the project. Let me share my screen with you. And the output is the Changemaker Diary. I will just uh, look at Anna to give me the sign if you can see the screen. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Your face froze for a second, so I was like... <laughs> But yeah, I see that you can see the screen. Um, yeah, so Changemaker Diary is another output of uh, us as Polish partner, uh, our contribution to the project. So um, as you will see in the table of contents, it uh, um, includes um, chapters which are coherent with the titles or the categories of the cards. So you saw cards in the uh, a moment ago. And the chapters here are coherent with the categories of our change making cards. So our topics which we are tackling here is who is a change maker, change maker skills, personal values, dreams, strengths and visions, identifying and analyzing social and environmental challenges, planning and implementing social projects, sharing the vision and getting resources uh, and allies for social projects as well as evaluation, which is an uh, important um, step. Um, each of the chapters are uh, including um, more detailed uh, invitations for you to explore. So uh, they are, uh, so the diary is a little bit more in depth uh, than the cards, because as you can see after the introduction, you will be um, invited to either do the task or get inspired, uh, for example, to discover who is a change maker uh, and to prepare your own definition and um, compare it with the def definitions of other people. Uh, the links that you will see here are uh, interactive. So whenever you click on the link, it means that uh, it will lead you to the page where you can compare your answer with the answers of others. So the document is interactive and you can take the notes uh, either when you print the diary or in your favorite notebook. Uh, so you can look at the screen on the task and about, uh, for the task and then uh, um, give your answer in your uh, personal journal or notebook if you feel like it. Um, you will also read more about change maker stories and will be invited to um, choose uh, the most inspiring for you. Uh, so as you can see in each of the chapter, you will be invited to uh, explore a little bit more about the topic and um, journal or write in the diary the answers to these questions. So the diary is allowing you to go a little bit more into the depth of becoming a change maker and planning your own um, social project. Uh, as I said in the first part uh, with the audio uh, recordings, some of the activities that you will be invited here are also coherent with the audio recordings um, that will be guiding you through the process. So, for example, the map of dreams, which, which is um, one of the invitations for you to explore here in the diary, is also available as an audio recording that will guide you through the whole process. So, 
yeah, I hope that we um, somehow uh, inspired you and uh, invited you to use another uh, educational tool that we prepared for you. Feel free to uh, print it, to share it with others. Uh, everything is shared. I will go and scroll. You, you can see that there is a lot of um, pages to explore, but everything is uh, shared on um, the basis of Creative Commons. So feel free to share it with others, just uh, mentioning the the authors and the project um, so that we are promoting uh, this idea further. Um, so this about uh, the other output, and I wonder if I stopped sharing my screen? Yes. Okay, lovely. <laughs> I was not sure about that. Yeah, so uh, as I was scrolling through the diary, uh, you could see uh, change maker stories. And uh, some of them we would like to tell you now, some of inspiring change maker stories. And we chose for you uh, change maker stories coming from Poland, Ireland, and Romania, since these are project partners and these we would like to share with you. And uh, I will begin with two stories uh, from Łódź, the city that uh, I am located, but also Kobieta Association is uh, located. So I would like to share with you the story of um, Black World, which uh, we actually had the chance to visit during our study visit here in Łódź. Uh, the participants of the study visit were going uh, with us to the uh, Black World for this experience that I will tell you in a second what it's about. But I would like to share that th this was one of the experiences that they found most um, impactful uh, during our study visit and most um, I would say broadening the horizons and uh, and um, raising the awareness. Uh, so Black World is an initiative uh, and a physical place in Łódź where blind people are presenting to uh, the visitors how the world their world looks like. And um, we were able to, to um, participate in this experience. So we entered a place, a uh, room that was completely dark. And by completely dark, I mean darker than when you close your eyes, because th then you still some light can go through your eyes. But it was complete darkness. And um, we could uh, explore and uh, feel uh, the objects, for example, that are uh, being in the kitchen, so we could recognize that we are in the kitchen only by touching the objects and trying to understand where um, uh, are we. Um, yeah, where are we now? Um, one of the most powerful experience for me was to uh, go to um, a street. So there were all the noises and all the um, uh, elements that you can find on the street. So everything was in complete darkness so that the participants um, could feel uh, the way that blind people perceive reality, that they see the world in a way. Um, after this, we, um, we also had a workshop in the darkness where we were recognizing different, um, different uh, elements. So, so this change maker story is showing that um, blind people took the initiative to show to, uh, to the broader, uh, to the broader uh, group of people how their world um, is, how do they perceive the world, uh, which gained our awareness and, um, and uh, possibility to, to experience it. Uh, the other change maker story is video translator. Video, video, too much, video translator or interpreter. So here the challenge was that uh, deaf people, deaf people meaning people who cannot hear, uh, they were uh, uh, having troubles with uh, using the offer of institutions, public institutions or companies, because often they were going to the place but there was no translator or interpreter uh, that could support them in this contact. So what um, uh, what um, people thought about is to do an online version of an uh, interpreter being available from Monday to Friday, from 8 in the morning to 6 p.m., through online connection 
uh, a deaf person could um, connect with the interpreter and have contact with either the institution or the company. So uh, it is a service that is based on the subscription. So as a company or institution, we could uh, apply and uh, um, uh, sign up for a subscription having a monthly fee. And in this way, we do have the service of uh, the um, video interpreter from uh, the sign language, uh, which is available. Uh, so whenever a deaf person comes, for example, to our association, we can contact the interpreter uh, and, uh, and the person may uh, receive um, this translation on the spot. So um, these two change maker stories are coming from which from our region, and we thought uh, about sharing them um, with you. And we will follow with uh, um, inspiring stories from uh, Ireland and Romania. Yeah, uh, from Ireland, I'm. Uh, I want to tell you two stories again. Well, let's say two and a half. Uh, and one started with uh, Lily, which is the uh, the little girl you saw in the first pictures, uh, uh, in the group picture that we showed at the beginning. It started with her because like Lily was playing, we were there for like, uh, me and Anna were there for uh, uh, four months, and every week she was playing with the new game. You know, like uh, it's, they, they are very much interested in uh, some novelty and like when it's, there is a new game they get super excited and then like you know time passes and they get interested in focus in something else and they also like you know when they are excited usually they also drop things or like forget them around and keep them a little bit messed so it's easy to you know like uh, lose some pieces and so on so in the hand of a of a kid um a toy doesn't really last long, or may not. And it's nice to have like, you know, uh, new toys and like, uh, uh, yeah, something exciting um, from time to time. So with her, we discovered that she was actually getting her tools in, from the library. So we discovered that in uh, uh, in Carrie Macross uh, in Ireland, where we were, Anna uh, is gonna show some picture. Thank you, Anna. They, they like there was a group of volunteers that create a library and they set it up so that like kids could come and take new game every week so they can take it for a short time and then they have to bring it back of course they have to be uh, careful to uh, bring it back in the right shape and like a full functioning but uh yeah this gives a lot of life to to <clears throat> toys which otherwise would like you know uh serve one or two kids and not much more. And the focus of, uh, of uh, the library is also uh, on like uh, um, um, toys which are nicely made. So maybe you have seen that there were a lot of like uh, wood toys, for example, or which uh, like support the, the creation of like uh, uh, manual intelligence and uh, logical intelligence. So like uh, a tool that are like nourishing for the thoughts as well. And uh, this is a story of like of sharing of uh, uh, community building, and the other story that I want to tell you about is also about community building and sharing, but it comes from Belt from Belfast, um, and this is about like a, a, this time is a tool library. Uh, we met uh, in Belfast uh, a, a group and uh, an organization that were uh, uh, that is about like uh, sharing tools. And the guys, uh, the guy Neil, the, he just welcomed us, telling us that like according to uh, the data he found, a drill is actually used 13 minutes per year. So you know, like uh, many of us have tool at home, like an hammer and a saw and a screwdriver, and like try to count yourself how many minutes you actually use a particular tool. I mean, for me, that was shocking. I mean, I, I knew more or less this, that the fact that like, you know, there are these tools which are there, which I don't need all the time, but then when I did them, I want them. But I never really focused on counting the minutes on numbers. That for me was shocking. And like so, it was shocking also for Neil and like for the group that, uh, that uh, of volunteers that is working inside the tool library. 
And basically, it's very simple. They collect uh, tools which are like not used, so it's donation based, and they are all volunteers. And what they do is to fix them, and then if they need some fixing, and then they put them uh, uh, available for uh, uh, subscription for like people which are in the uh, club of uh, of the library. So it works exactly like a book library that like uh, I'm sure you have in uh, in your cities, but this time is focused on uh, on tools. And what they do also for like uh, 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 fostering community building, they organize uh, courses for uh, uh, do-yourself workshop or for knowing how to use specific tools because we were showing there uh, some tools which are more like uh, uh, simple to using like a screwdriver somehow or a number, but they also have like a, a high level um, high technology tools like a, a 3D printer or uh, um, you know something more uh, electronic or mechanical. And yeah, well, uh, uh, a little bit of knowledge on uh, on using it is really necessary. So yeah, it's like community building, sharing, and you can go very far. Anna, wanna tell you some other story? Well, I have the last one for you because obviously we miss uh, Romania, right? And we miss exactly the Cluj Napoca. So let me tell you the story from Cluj Napoca. And uh, well, I'm not a very technical person, so I don't know what is the proper name, but I guess that you know this kind of games in which you move and can, can play tennis, for example, with the computer, because the computer is, is kind of reading your movement or the whatever movement reader, right? The Wii, for example. Nintendo Wii is one of those. So here I, uh, I'm actually in front of the screen, which is doing that, and I just move my hand trying to catch some bird on the, on the sky. And here I'm uh, chasing ice cream. So again, I move my hands and whenever I go to the ice cream, I get points. Here, for example, I'm the white bird and I'm by moving my body, I'm trying to avoid the black birds. Here I hear the animal and I have to decide I'm moving my left hand if it's cow or for example, goat by moving my right hand. And here is a boy which needs rehabilitation. So he has to do he has to do the same exercise every day again and again, which is fairly boring. So he's not very motivated to do it. But in these games, the application is designing the game the way that uh, he will be moving exactly the way his exercises ask him to do. So he's basically playing the game at the same time doing the exercises which physiotherapists recommend him for his health. And you can see the physiotherapist behind him, just taking care that his posture is correct. So it's actually beneficial for him. And the boy is simply playing the game. An application is actually uh, measuring also the progress. So if the boy become better, the application may give more difficult tasks or make it faster, for example. So the four guys from uh, from Krush Napoka, uh, the IT lovers who created it, actually created social business. Uh, so they, on one hand, they sell this application to hospitals, which can subscribe, for example, for a year. And from the money they gain, they open the organization, which give it for free for children who don't have really money for daily rehabilitation. So they provide them access to the game, but also physiotherapists, which help them on a the daily basis. And they even discovered that seniors also love the game. So they start to use it not only with kids, although the, it was created with the thinking about kids, but also, also older people start to use it as well. So th those were some stories from our side. Uh, and uh, we are slowly approaching the moment when we will invite you to think a little bit what you want to bring to the world maybe next year, as we are also just into New Year. But before we come to that, we would like to give you a few more minutes in smaller groups to brainstorm your own uh, changemaker stories. So we would love you to share in the smaller groups what changemakers you know, so we can get inspired and then energized before we actually think about what is it that we want to bring to the world. You know, we love those stories because they really spark and give ideas. So what happened now? I will send you to the rooms for eight minutes, a little bit bigger groups this time, because that would be really a brainstorm. I will give you access to the Google Slide. So if you go to the chat, you have a link to Google Slide, which you can enter without logging in anywhere. 
And I would ask you that whenever you have an idea in the group about some initiative, you can also put the name or website in our slides uh, because we will not have time later on to share with everybody, but that could be an our common outcome, you know, the list of inspiring links, which when we don't believe that the world can be a good place, we can click and get inspired by. And please feel free to put there also links to your initiatives. So you don't have to look also for change makers outside. Maybe you want to say your story. So that would be a space also to, for you to share your, your change maker initiatives or any initiatives which you find inspiring in the field of society. So please discuss in your group of four or five people and then bring the links so we can actually enjoy them all together. And after that, we will come back and reflect in more individual manner. What is it that you would like to bring to the world? But firstly, let's get inspired by those who are already doing it, being you or some other people. I hope that the presentation is working. This is just to help. So in case it doesn't work, you can later on put on the chat and I will uh, and I will put it in presentation. And as I said, we will have eight minutes in the four or five people groups just to share inspiring change maker stories and then put them in the slides. Is it clear? Perfect. So enjoy the process and we see you in eight minutes. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. I see some smiles. I hope that you enjoyed the conversation. I see that you are not very convinced to give links to the Google slide, which is totally fine. But if there is something you want to share in the chat, please uh, please do. So we may also get to know some stories from you. Actually, some of the stories which we collect in our travel is from recommendation of people. So I will now share uh, another output with you. But if meanwhile you want to add some links or names to chat or to presentation, please, uh, please feel free. I put it, uh, I suggest to do it in presentation because it's something which you can keep after the meeting. While if you're out of Zoom, the, the chat would be not available anymore, but I can just copy it from the chat to presentation if you want to share. And while you do it, uh, if you wish, let me tell you that another output we prepared, we are very creative with outputs in this project, is actually the booklet with Changemaker Stories. So if you simply want to just read stories, you know, not necessarily think about it, reflect, writing your diary. You can also take the another um, output in the same folder. You will receive, of course, link after this meeting. And here you will find Changemaker stories from Poland, from Ireland, from Romania, and also some from the world. Some we told you already. So Katarzyna was sharing about Monica. Here is Monica who opened Black World, who is blind herself. Um, but there are many more stories, uh, more stories than this from our region and not only. There are stories from Ireland or so some of uh, which we shared with you. Some of them are shortened and you can click to the full story if you want to read it full. Who knows, maybe some of them come even from, from your own regions. There are stories from Romania and at the end there are also stories from the world. You can have stories uh, about how chocolate changed the world from Bulgaria. You can read it there about the um, ecotourism in Thailand, um, about yoga in prison and how this changed the life of prisoners, about, the, um, for example, the Colombian um, music band which create instruments from rubbish. So there are different, different stories which you can muted, <laughs> which you can uh, read and also um, see some of the pictures um, to realize how it is. So it uh, it was also one of our outputs. So we do have some stories for you. And yes, I see that some links appear also in our slides. So thank you a lot. There is some about, um, about they are very small. Uh, about free gangism. Maybe I share one second with you so you also see and get motivated to add more. You can keep adding till the end of the of the meeting as this is something which then you can keep the link and it will stay with you. Mm, I made it just super big for, uh, which was not my plan. Mm -hmm. So have some free gangism, aquagogalis, 
uh, mm -hmm, for sure, UK. There are two slides, and and especially your own initiatives if you want to leave, even your Facebook, Instagram, so we can also support each other in following. If you feel that your initiative, your social business, your NGO, your informal group changed the world, please leave your contacts so we can also support each other by following and get inspired by our examples. So please keep adding here. You have time till the end of the session, and I will also copy whatever you put in the chat. Um, and um, yes, you will get the, exactly, you will have access to the folder after the meeting in the summary um, email. But now I would like to invite you for a little bit more individual work. So we get uh, through the cards, we get uh, a little bit into ourselves. Maybe some of you had questions about values or dreams or future or skills. Then we got inspired by stories of other people who changed the world, or maybe your own stories as well. And now we would like to invite you for a bit of reflection. What is it that you would like to actually change in the world? Maybe considering the next year, we are at the end of the year, maybe slowly starting to reflect on how was this year and what you want to um, want, want to bring next year or years. So I would like to invite you to reflect a little bit on the question, what is the change you want to bring to the world? What is the change you will uh, want to bring to the world? And we will start with a little bit of journaling. So if you have some notebook with you, that would be great. If not, please grab it. Uh, if you prefer to write on computer, of course you can, although I think there is certain magic in handwriting. So, okay. uh, so if you have notebook, I will give you now um, around seven minutes for spontaneous journaling. Um, on what is the change you want to bring to the world. You may start with really spontaneous writing, whatever come to you, to your body, to your heart, to your mind, just, you know, not necessarily trying to plan anything yet, uh, but rather have it a flow and maybe inspired by me, people you met and stories you heard and cards you receive. What is the change you want to bring to the, to the world? We'll have around seven minutes for individual journaling and then also a chance to share as much as you, you want. Uh, I will put the music in the background. If you also feel that you need to move a bit, maybe grab a water or go to the toilet, you may also use a little bit of this time for that. And in around seven, eight minutes, we will continue together. But for now, let's give it a moment for, for yourself. Uh, I also put the question in the chat if you want to come back to it or translate it to be sure that you understand it. I will put some nice music and please enjoy the process of writing, what is the change you want to bring to the world, or maybe drawing it, or if you feel to, that you want to rather dance the answer of this question, this is also very welcome. So let me share the music and enjoy a little bit of joining.
give it one last minute. So we'll wrap it up, wrap up, write last sentences. And as uh, we do believe that it's important also to speak loud, whatever it is uh, that you you thought about, we will invite you again for the two free people rooms, so more intimate, to share whatever you feel like sharing. If you feel like sharing, what is it that you would like to change in the world? That's perfect. Sometimes through speaking as well, some things can be clarified. If you rather would speak about the process, that's also fine. But we do encourage you to, it's not, it's not, you know, um uh, uh, a final promise in a way you can still keep it as, as a way for you to to try to identify and define a bit more what is the change you want to bring so there would be 10 minutes in a bit smaller group before we will go to the last part of our workshop so please enjoy sharing whatever you feel like sharing to, to also say to the world what it is that you want to change thank you Welcome back. Well, and I do have to say that I'm very curious what is the change you want to bring to the world. So if you feel like sharing in the chat, I think that it would be amazing, um, you know, opportunity to get inspired by so many people who actually care enough about changing the world to spend Thursday evening <laughs> discussing about it. So if you only feel comfortable with that, I will totally invite you to write in the chat, what is the change you want to bring to the world? So you know about these two free people you, you were sharing in the group, but I think it would be very beautiful to, to have just a little bit of mention from other people as well. So if you're okay with this, please write in the chat, what is the change you want to bring? And when you do that, to give you a bit of time, I tell you about the very last output um, we want to share with you. And then I will come back to the chat to see what happens meanwhile. So the very, very last um, output I want to tell you about, uh, it's actually the booklet with educational scenarios. So if you are working with youth or any other target group, you may find it um, find it interesting. I think that they are good to work with youth and with adults. Mm, they are also beautifully designed by 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 our Katarzyna. and they are a lot of step by step instructions of exercises you can you can use. So they are also separated into this creator story change the world part. Uh, and about more or less the same categories with the cards and diary. So they are scenarios of workshops about who is change maker, change maker skills, values, dreams, identifying social challenges, planning social projects, sharing the vision and getting resources. And I, I just show you one. There's, for example, change maker game. Some of you participated in. And in every scenario, you will have objectives, how long it takes, what materials you need, and then step-by-step -step information, how to organize workshop uh, for young people or for adults. So again, it's something which you can use in your, in your practice. You will also see in the photo how it looks like. Uh, so it's kind of things for, for the trainer facilitator, which you can use in your work. No? So there's, for example, workshop about process of change or about communication, appreciating diversity. You can also see some photos from our trainings and workshops. So there is quite, there is 127 pages of uh, scenarios. So that's also available for you. And please feel free, oh, there was Bogdan on the photo as well. <laughs> so feel free to, um, it's from the, I think it's from the first training we actually met if I'm not, if I'm not wrong, many years ago. There's a workshop about mindfulness, and many other uh, other things. So that that's the last output I wanted to share. And now let me have a look at the chat. You also meanwhile could probably see. 
as well as children village, make young people be more uh, more aware of ecological problems, bring critical thinking and citizenship, making environments safer, more comfortable to stray animals who depends on human altruism. Permacultural revolution. <laughs> Open my healer site and serve as a healer. Mm -hmm. uh, to help people to fully know that all beings are essential, the same as themselves and worthy of their love and respect, give more back to community and create awareness of surrounding. Amazing. Uh -huh. I would love children and young people who will be adults, tell us of the future, to be more aware of the sources of our planet and much more, much more. I will not read it all, but you can you can definitely go to the chat and see. Ah, my heart is growing just by looking at it. So thank you. Thank you a lot for sharing. And I really do wish um, this all come true. And let me invite you for the very last part of this workshop where we started with the cards and we will what we will do andrea and uh, yeah guess what we will finish with the card yes yeah, so the idea is to close the circle by coming back to the same exercise we did before with the card but this time we take uh, a different stack of card and um, uh, we take the following part, the part which is focused on uh, change the world, on changing the world. The point is that like uh, uh, you were discussing and thinking a bit which kind of change you want to bring in the world and uh, which kind of, uh, um, you know, like uh, how, where you want to put your energy and your strength. And that was like uh, uh, very interesting and hopefully, you know, step by step, we are going to get there. And this card that like uh, we created uh, within this project are exactly uh, about that, about uh, uh, supporting uh, your project, supporting you into uh, finding, um, yeah, into finding your own way, into sorting out uh, the difficulties that you may have the, on the way, into team with other people, and so on. So the idea is exactly like uh, before. You will choose uh, one of the cards and uh, um, you will uh, uh, get to speak with the uh, other people. This time there are 18 cards to choose from. So you have to choose uh, a number from uh, 1 to 18. And then you get into um, uh, on the right card and then you can share that card with the people in your group. I will ask you, Anna, to... Yeah, there's uh, already a link in the chat. So there are yes. new cards. You have to use another link, the one which is now in the chat, because it's the second part of the, uh, the of the card pile. And you will be in the room with two, three people. This is very uh, last exercise. Uh, just to summarize and see, after you discuss what is what change you bring to the world, let's see what the world wants to ask you about that very change. So please enjoy this very last uh, touch and see you in um, eight minutes. Welcome back, peers. peers. I hear myself. No, okay. Lovely. That was the last thing we prepared for you today. Um, hmm. and I'm very very grateful for all the ideas or the links and if you would uh, like to share in this last three minutes in the chat how is this workshop for you what do you take with you uh, please do uh, it would be difficult to give voice to everybody but it would be lovely to hear from you how is this experience what you finish with what do you take with you from this experience and when you write, hopefully, something to us, I just say again that you will receive all the outputs we spoke about today uh, in the summary email of this event. And there's one more to come. So exactly in one week, the same time, the same link, we will explore the topic of soil with our partners from Ireland, which uh, I'm very excited about. So uh, I'm sure it would be also a very unique experience. So you are more than welcome to join. 
and uh, yeah hope to stay in touch with you meet you in some other situations and again we would love to read from you how was this experience for you we have some first voices coming mm, we are the same beautiful soul no matter where in the world we are beautiful to do small things with great love incredible experience and amazing time with you i'm going away feeling inspired and proud of the work i have already done towards making the world a better place at least a bit and, and thank you for that work as well mm, those are really beautiful words and thank you for that for all the work you did today uh you are doing and probably you will be doing and for giving your time again on, on the evening to actually explore the topic of society and changing the world <laughs> that was the greatest part mm. Thank you a lot for surpassing the voice to Katarzyna. Andrea, if there's anything else you would like to add for the end. Mm. Just a lot of gratitude, really. Now we are in the face of also offline uh, meeting, dissemination meetings, and I get a lot of energy from these offline meetings. But also in this online setting, it was beautiful to um, to see your engagement and to to read the comments. So yeah, hopefully it was a change making workshop also for you. Thank you, team. And uh, yeah, also super happy and excited for the meeting next week, um, which will be our closure of the summit. So thank you for your active participation. Yeah, I also want to thank you. It was really nice to be with you. And uh, yeah, uh, this is like a, the closing of a, uh, of a long project. And it was like a very inspiring for us and like, well, now a little bit of a winter break and we hope that uh, next year there will be more to come and uh, and so we can share and keep you know going together toward the better future that's my wish. thank you thank you a lot again for more comments coming i'm reading them all and yes i also feel all this gratitude and warmness in my heart so thank you a lot enjoy your evening and hope we'll see you Hopefully we see each other next week to explore soil.